In today's video, we're gonna be installing this electrical conduit down in this ditch. And to do this, you're gonna need some conduit itself. And I'll show you what else you'll need. Very important, you'll need a Sawzall. And on top of a Sawzall, you're gonna need some glue to glue together the electrical conduit. Any PVC glue will be fine. And you wanna make sure you schedule 40 in this case per my code, but I don't know what your codes are. Um, and let me come down in this ditch here, or uh, line, I should say, that was dug, and show you what we got going on. Ugh. All right, here we are. We're down in this nice little hole, but if you look behind me here, right here, this is a stub going out to this transformer, you see there. So it's gonna go to your transformer, but there's no electric in that right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook our conduit to that. There's gonna be string inside of that pipe and I didn't install that pipe, the electrical company did. So all we gotta do is uh, run it over to our house. So you can see that's where my meter is gonna be going. When the electrical company sits these transformers, they run conduit to them so the builder can go ahead and splice onto it and they just pop a cap over the end and put a string, but this string was ate up by mice so it did not attach the end of the conduit. So I will not be running a string myself. They'll just have to blow. They blow like a little ball through the uh, conduit and it pulls the string over to the other side. So they'll have to do that now since the mice ate that cable up. But um, when you glue this stuff, you glue it just like regular plumbing pipes. Uh, you don't want to be super particular because uh, there'll be a lot of dirt in the way. And I've seen some people not even glue this stuff, but I do not recommend that. Be sure to glue this stuff. And I went on the other end and just tapped it together using a hammer because this first piece had a little slight angle on it and I couldn't get it in there and get enough uh, strength on it to twist it on myself. So I had to peck it together with a hammer. You will find you have to do stuff like that sometimes. It's not ideal, but it works. And what we're going to do next is we're going to install the next piece that's running to the house. And now this one's going to install a little easier, but you can see it's pushed right into the side of the trench here. So I just had to figure out a way to get it pried over to the center. So I just took a little 8-inch um, block or so and shoved it over and wedged it in there with the block. So now we got a nice place to uh, work and uh, won't have to worry about being up against the dirt wall there. So... Just again, like you do any other plumbing pipe, just glue it uh, around a few times with enough glue to where it kind of lubricates the joint. And kind of, I went down here initially and started pecking it together and noticed it had a little tension on it. So I came back down and ended up twisting it on like normal. And uh, yeah, so it went together really nice. Um, actually, this whole conduit job did. And uh, now I, all I got to do is get ready to put the next piece on. And uh, it's, it's just like the one we just did, except uh, the piece following that will end up having to cut. But again, I had to wedge it over. And here's another angle so you can see from above. But again, you just put a liberal amount of glue in it. And again, this is just regular PVC glue, nothing special. Get around the joint really well twist it together. I just add a little slight twist so it tr tries to water seal that the uh, best it can and then release and once that glue sets up I can release the uh, pipe myself and it's going to be held there for years to come. Alright so now I'm at the point where I'm going to hit the house on the next piece of pipe. So what I did I just have this temporarily sitting here. It's a long sweep for your uh, elbow going up to where your meter is going to sit. Well, it's actually going to set more up here, but because this is going to be ground level right there. So this is just temporarily sitting there, just having a block setting up where it's going to go. And I have it spaced out from the house where it needs. And I have a mark right to where it's going to intersect into the meter. So over here is where the pipe is coming in. So I got to cut to length where it's going to hit into this pipe. So simple in order to do that. We go ahead and grab our piece of conduit and I'm just going to lay it right where it's going to be. I'm going to come back here and lay it to where the bell is overlapping three, four inches, whatever size bell you got there. In this case, it looks like it's a four inch bell, but I'm going to sit right there. And then I'm going to come over here, take my pencil. I got a pencil here and I'm going to mark 
right where I need to cut this pipe. So, all right. And now I know the length of the pipe I need to cut. And that's okay, that already fell, that's okay because I got the length that I need. So we go and cut the pipe right there. All right, nice clean cut. And this scrap, we don't need it. Now, all we got to do is we need a collar, which is more or less a way to join two pieces of the conduit. And we're just going to clean off the uh, cut a little bit so we don't have any problems gluing it together. All right. I'm going to go ahead and glue that collar on now. It's easier to glue these collars on before you glue the other end. Because if I glued it on that end, I couldn't pull it up here to make it easier. So glue it together just like the bell. And yeah, I remember, um, this is just conduit. So it's important to keep it water sealed, but um, you know, it doesn't have to be super clean when you glue it together. Just hold that together for a moment. All right, it doesn't take too long when it's warm out for this glue to set up. All right. And now move that out of the way. We're gonna come down to this end, go and glue that together like we did the other joints. Always get the dirt out in case some fell in there. And like I said, this glue uh, more or less acts as a lubricant too when you go to slide this on. So really important to apply a lot of glue to these joints just for ease of installation. Always like to give it a little twist to seal that glue around the joint. All right, that's on there nice and sturdy. We're gonna come back to this side. We got this long sweep here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dry fit it on the joint to make sure we're still where we need to be. So go ahead and put that in right where you want it. And just kind of set it right where it's going to be setting after it's all set up. All right. So go ahead and get it three and a half looks good. All right, so just like doing plumbing pipes, I'm just going to mark it right where we need it. So that way, when we slide it together, it's going to be put at the right angle. And clean the dirt off that. And again, apply a liberal amount of glue. And since it's kind of warm out, you want to try to be kind of quick about this. You don't want to be trying to fight with it and then it gets sets up at a weird angle. Oh yeah, with the glue that slid exactly where I need it to be. I'm just going to kind of manipulate that where it's going to actually be setting. All right, so I'm going to hold it there for just a moment. Looks good. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna take the camera down into this uh, ditch we have cut out, show you exactly what we got up close. All right, let's get down in here and show you. So that's gonna be our long sweep that's gonna be sliding right up into the meter. And we still got this little collar we gotta put on here that allows for when this pipe settles, it doesn't pull the meter off the house. I'll have to show you that in another video. But as you can see here, we got this conduit running clear out over here to where I showed you at the beginning of the video we started. So you can see it's very, very nice. Um, nicely put together. This is where we all started. And that's where all of my power is going to be coming from. And that, that uh, pretty much all there is to it. And something uh, before this is all backfilled is I got to take an anchor and anchor this to the side of the house where I need it. So that way, when they go to backfill, I'm up here by myself. So right now, uh, there's no one to backfill for me. But when this goes to be backfilled, this is going to be held right where we need to have it held. And uh, so before you backfill, be sure to do that. And again, I'll show you all that in another video too. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you haven't yet done it, be sure to subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about building your house, saving a ton of money. My name's Josh, and I look forward to seeing your comments. And if you got any value out of this video, be sure you smash that like button and comment below what you uh, like the most. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.